Tonight with new details on a school bus controversy. A local bus driver and monitor have been fired for leaving a little girl all alone at a bus stop. It's a story we first told you about last night. The five-year-old was dropped off in North Providence last month, even though there was no adult there to pick her up. And now parents and their friends are outraged, and the bus company is taking action. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with tonight's top local story. Well, the bus stop blunder happened one week before Christmas, but the company finally responded today after family friends took their concerns to the school district. She was outside for almost 20 minutes in the freezing cold, scared, scared. A heated exchange erupts in North Providence as family friends unleash their anger at the North Providence School Committee. Committee members called an emergency meeting last night when they learned a five-year-old was left alone at her bus stop. I just wish the bus company will fire, and they don't belong either one of them working with the public ever again. We contacted Northeast Bus Company looking for answers. A manager tells Eyewitness News the driver and bus monitor were fired this morning. School committee members voted unanimously last night to ask the company for their termination. If that were ever my child, five years old, on the street, there would be a war in our province right now. A family friend found the girl crying behind a bush at the corner of Smithfield Road and Lawnacre Avenue waiting for her grandmother. Under school policy, any kindergartner not met by an adult at a bus stop should be driven back to school. The company is now working with the school department to find out why the girl was left alone. We're investigating the incident. We did right away. We, we are still continuing to work on it. At this point, the bus company and the district won't identify the employees responsible. We have learned that the driver in the incident was only a temporary substitute on that route. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.